buyer beware. For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. I don't know who's narrating either. Oh, shit. LAPD! Could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Yeah, yeah I can see that. Thank you. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. Broad daylight. A crowded street. Yeah, it's the same as Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. Bank of, Bank of Arcadia. G. Galletta. Apartment 5. C. Galetta. Layway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Is there anything in the trash can, maybe? All right, all right. Yes, it's a yeah. dead person. FN Browning, serial number zero one one three eight. Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gotcha. gun store is a couple blocks from here. Cool. Officer Phelps, miss, I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Everett Gage. Clovis Galleta. Eyewitness account. You think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. If eyewitness is, is lying, you have proof she's accused. To accuse eyewitness, you need to present evidence. Hmm. Your 
lying, Miss Galetta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? It's mostly just your face. Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk. Nickel plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and Did I hear a loud still? bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Okay, so your story's changing. To his knees. Did her story change? I actually don't know what she said very before. Painful. <laughs> but I don't think that that's what she said. I actually like this part a lot. This is really cool. Why are you just staring at me like that? I've done nothing wrong. Hmm. Why are you just staring at me like that? I've done nothing wrong. Why are you just staring at me like that? I've done nothing wrong. Which jewelry store? Hartfield. Broadway between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callow looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. Walked away? Positively identified. Fits. Hmm. Ooh. I kind of want to accuse her again because of the way that she said I won't lose the earrings, will I? Like, that's the main thing that stuck with me. I think you're trying to pin this thing on this Kalu character. I think you were angry with Mr. Gage, and you shot him. You think that? You're a madman! I don't know about guns! You can't prove I own a gun! Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway. I didn't mean to pick that again. I meant to did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callow looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the tr Oops. trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned. Wait, did that bring up a transcript? Yeah, it is, okay. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, she didn't mention him before. I 
and walked away. Gallantry's bad cop. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. <laughs> a lot of people do. Yeah, there are a lot it's of people It's not my fault if he has nice things. Possible religious motive. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. He had two or three. It I sounded think. like there were so I think many. He, had, he was shot twice. And they were so loud. Concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then three very quickly close together. Oh, did he get shot five times? Five. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my. my. Never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. Hmm. Seems irrelevant. Yeah. I was thinking maybe he wore those things. Him, I'm never gonna try it. You can't interact with anything over here. Don't think this is anything. Hmm. I wonder if he'll say that, but it actually I'm assuming that if he says that, it's the game's way telling you he's not. How much is We have the murder weapon and the murderer. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfield. That's a couple of blocks from here. Thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. How many times was he shot? See, I only see two. I see three. I think that that's a fourth on his right arm. Let's go to the gun store real quick. See you guys when I get there. can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir. Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Yeah. Okay. Edgar Kalu was his name. I think it looks like you've never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. And he bought a box of cartridges and he left. You know where we can find Mr. Cullu? Told me he was on his lunch break. <clears throat> Said he worked at Hartfield Jewelry Store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. Okay. See, yeah, he just kind of reinforced it. I pressed Y and he went. To, he just went to the other car. I think he got the. I kind of like that.
Alright. See you guys when I get there. Okay, here we go. Wow, it's still 236. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Damn, so uh, aggressive. No, uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. That is him, and he's about to fucking run. Son of a bitch! Yeah. Go, Cole, go! That's why I was like, yeah, he's fucking... That's him, and he's just gonna book it. Thank you for pointing me. Kalu! Get back here! She wants a five-star. Goddamn. That's right, I have my gun out. Oh. <laughs> okay, now I know. Don't shoot. Stop, or I will shoot. Oh, okay. Too late, Kalu. See, I'm supposed to just aim him down. Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. <laughs> that smile is got. The case that makes you. In the case that breaks you. The one you never saw. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. <laughs> I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. A bit, yeah. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. <laughs> How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. I'm gonna try not to, trust me. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. You followed Everett Gage and a girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Serves as soon as they make their statement. Careful use of intuition can lead to breakthroughs in the enemy's interrogations. <laughs> Ask the community for st I think that's an online thing. I want to see if he'll say anything for Sarah Morgan.
looks really uncomfortable. I mean, I'd be really uncomfortable if someone was just staring at me. Right. Didn't I ask for a lawyer? Shouldn't you be on the phone, officer? Careful, you speak to Ah, oh, so it'll remove one. Removing backup doesn't actually help me. <laughs> Bothering to try to help you here, Mr. Kalu. You could stand in front of the grand jury and say that you showed I should have no remorse. Him. The defendant is a cold-blooded killer. Very good, Boychik. Kiss my ass. False I know sneeze. what you're doing. I think I'll wait for my lawyer to get here before I make any kind of statement. Hmm. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. Oops. You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! Yeah, that didn't help me, that intuition point, because it literally just took out bad cop. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in oh, Gage's back. Gage was a was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. You got nothing, boy chick. Incorrect. You're gonna be laughed right out of court. I've just gotta keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. Okay. We're done. Unless you wanna keep making a schmuck of yourself. Can I stop watching the same scene over and over again? You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. <clears throat> Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! Oh, this is fucking annoying. I'm sick of watching the same scene. Just fucking load me into the loaded up boat again, so I don't have to fucking sit through this. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. I'll go with the gun. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. And the girl claimed she saw him with it. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Accusing with innocent evidence will hurt your credibility. We know all about the argument. Miss Galena made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That Jew hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. <laughs> I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about <laughs> baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about.
sure I'll remove one answer. Uh. You left wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and I listen to your drivel? I wasn't gonna accuse him because I was like, that? I don't have any you actual evidence. You sit there and you just... call me those names, you goddamn gory butt snatcher. You and that stup gauge. Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake, the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps. Isn't it, lad? Can I have a moment? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the Chief of Police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. All right, that was actually pretty cool. I just wish I didn't have to keep going through that scene over and over again. But urgent promotion, prepare for reassignment. Cool. Trophy earned, Police Academy. enjoying this game so far. I'm like I said, it started off kind of like it was weird because it kept just like putting me in random scenarios, like it put me in a robbery and then the murder and then and then the dude who was violated the role. Just felt like it was just throwing me in a bunch of random shit in the driver's seat. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. <laughs> this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. Heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective hmm. and advice. Are they all dressed like movie stars? <laughs> Roy is a movie yeah. star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. Hmm. What is that supposed to mean? Means he's flashy. Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. I would assume it means. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the <laughs> cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with That's you, sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it to those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, <laughs> Stefan Bukowski. Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we are partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm gonna start you out with one case. Do okay, I'll give you a couple more. Okay. You screw up, you'll be rousting vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the PE Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. All right. I didn't want to. Hmm. 
Okay. I'm actually gonna go ahead and end it here. Door knocking all morning, but I gotta make in the car in the end. Um, yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Um, thank you for watching. I'll probably keep playing. You're right wasting after this. time. Get out of here. Yeah, shut your ass up. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Have a great day, and yeah, see you.